A wildlife protection watchdog group says lobster and some other fishing is not sustainable right now and that lobster on menus should be avoided. The goal is not to protect the lobster though, but the heavily endangered right whale. Ben Tracy shows us what this could mean for an already strained fishing industry. In New England, a long holiday weekend pairs well with lobster rolls. But now the billion dollar lobster industry is reeling from essentially being blacklisted. New England is lobster. I mean, there's no question about that. It would have a huge, huge detrimental effect on this area. Fred Penny has been catching lobster off the coast of Massachusetts for more than 50 years. He's angry that 14 fisheries are now labeled red by Seafood Watch, a widely respected world leader in seafood rankings, meaning consumers and businesses are being advised to avoid them. Besides lobster, this includes all East Coast snow crab and several species of flounder and Atlantic cod. The designation doesn't actually ban eating or selling the fish, but can lead restaurants and grocery stores to drop them from menus or label them unsustainable. If the restaurants put up a sign that say don't eat lobsters, people are not going to come in and eat lobsters. That's my concern. The problem isn't the fish. It's the fishing gear. Seafood Watch and government agencies say vertical lines and ropes are a leading cause of injury and death for the critically endangered North Atlantic right whale. Its population has shrunk by 30 percent in just the past decade, and there are now fewer than 340 of them alive. No one wants to know that their appetite for seafood is driving a species to extinction. You know, so what Seafood Watch is doing is putting a flag in the ground right now and saying there's an important issue. Let's pay attention. Jennifer Kemmerly with Seafood Watch says if an industry changes its fishing practices, it can find a way off this list. But the New England lobster industry is already being battered by climate change. Last year, we visited the Gulf of Maine, which is warming faster than 99% of the Earth's oceans. Warming water is causing some fish species, including lobster, to migrate north. My primary fishery is lobster. We met lobsterman Steve Train, who has started to also farm kelp, otherwise known as seaweed, because the lobster catch is increasingly unpredictable. I mean, does this feel like a lifeline? And right now, we're heavily dependent on one resource. So if, if there is a turn in the fishery, there needs to be something else. Especially now that the lobster industry is rated red. Ben Tracy, CBS News, 